So in the center of the Yorktown is extremely localized gravity. And they say it, I think like so they declare it, but I don't I don't get it. Be careful, Captain. Gravity's gonna get a bit screwy the closer you get to the center. Okay. Okay. But there it was, like it turned off. It turned off. So gravity gets screwed towards the center. Like I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay yeah. with that because for the methods in which we make gravity now, so th there's two ways. There's one is there's Kepler's law or I guess Gauss law for mass, where if you have an object in the middle and it's very massive, then things get pulled towards it. So just yep. like we're 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 standing to the Earth because the Earth pulls us down. The moon right. goes around the Earth because the the Earth is pulling the moon down and the moon yep. pulling Earth too. Okay, so so that makes sense. And so in the middle of the Yorktown, there's not much mass. In fact, it's the middle, so there's no mass. And so yep. I get it. So there should be low gravity because there's there's nothing there. In fact, and as you, as you go around the middle, like the you get pulled towards the middle, but the direction of that is always changing. Okay, but but here's it it, it turns on and off like really quickly. So here using the ladder, you can only use the ladder like this if you're applying force down, which means there's gravity in this room. Yep. And then it's off. Like it's a real sharp cutoff. So and so the, the other method in which we simulate gravity is we have rotating space stations. And so you're using the centrifugal force to simulate what you're what you're feeling like gravity. But this thing isn't rotating like that either. So what what's going on here? So my interpretation of this was that not we they're not using the mass form of gravity. Where it's like just put a big mass there, right? Like a planet. There's nothing in the middle. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing in the middle. I don't think it's the rotation type because that would mean everybody would be standing on the inside of the outer shell of like a cylinder, right? And if we look at a picture of the Yorktown, gravity there's like cities here that are going every which way, and and right. so gravity is locally defined as down in different locations on these like I don't know what we call them rings. Rings, sure. Oh like gosh. It's 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 even more than that because here it makes sense. Like if even if it was the rotating method, it makes yeah. sense for these people because they're yeah. standing on the inside. But for these people, they'd be pulled towards their heads all the time. Yeah, like, that's like, not gonna so, work. So the only way for there to be buildings on both sides of this ring mm -hmm. is I think they can just locally control it. So right. just yeah, exactly. You just make whatever Star Trek gravity does yeah. and you, you point them to where you need to point yeah and if you look in the distance there there's actually a non-ring section where it's like a spoke oh this right thing. there yeah and there's there's buildings on top and bottom which means gravity is down on top and up on bottom yep yep i agree so that's we don't even have the argument for like rotation there because that's just a right. straight spoke Wait, so, so I, a I think we are convinced that star trek universe can just make gravity point whichever way they need right. Which means this gravity that they encountered, Kirk and Crawl encountered in the middle, was done on purpose for some reason. Done on purpose. That's right. Uh, Scotty made it sound like it's because you're near the center, it's where gravity's going to get screwy. But maybe it's just because they made gravity screwy in here for some maintenance reason or something. Which, which, I could understand in like a cargo bay. Cargo bay makes a lot of sense to have, yeah. in fact, a variable in a, yeah. in sense of gravity. Because then if you have something heavy, you can just turn the gravity down, lift it up. You know, it's very light now, very yep. little, very little weight. And then you can push it away if you need to. And yep. then you set it down, turn the gravity back on, and it sits yep. there. Sounds great. But this is not a cargo room. It's not a cargo room. And then why not make it a regular room where can, people can just walk around normally and control whatever? Yeah. Why would they want to float around like it's a space station? That seems really inconvenient. I mean, I guess looking at this picture now, there's multiple entries. Mm-hmm. And so if there's multiple entries, then which way is down other than like the enemy gate, which is over there? Mm. Mm. Didn't, but then didn't, just choose, just choose one, just choose a direction. Yeah. And then people can come in from different sides and they're like, this is down now. But you put arrows in the room and they get like, this is down. And then everyone just reorients when they get there. Yeah. Didn't sure. Scotty say that this and, and crawl is here because it's like a central flow section where all the atmosphere comes in here, right. filters or whatever, and then gets sent back out. Exactly. Maybe something about that needs to be like, the design of it's like we should make this zero g I'm not sure why but maybe that's the reason it's coming in from every which direction we don't want the gas to be in gravity maybe maybe maybe, maybe. maybe. i don't know I, I, don't, know. I don't know why else you would engineer this room to have weird gravity cargo bay does make sense but 
a control it's not room. A cargo bay. It's, not, yeah. it's a control room. It doesn't make sense. I can't come up with an explanation. I don't know. Let us know if you have an explanation. Quirky dirty. Quirky. Space.